Hi everyone, Nick here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with the View tab to get different views up close and far away of your Word document. So depending on your screen size, you may want to have a page like this where you can see some of the text but not all the text on the page, but you might also want to see the entire page kind of pan back and see what the layout looks like in that way. Um, the other thing is if you add text, let's scroll down here, and once you start adding text, I'm going to go ahead and add some placeholder text here, equals rand, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, and push enter. Once you get that, it goes on to a second page here. But if you are in your first, uh, if you've opened your Word document, you may also encounter a view that looks like this. It starts going to multiple pages. This can be a nice way to sort of view your document as you have multiple pages, but you might want to do more of an up-close view. So in this case, you saw that I just went up to the view tab. So when you open your Word doc, you'll probably be here on the home tab. If you want it to be just one page at a time, go up to the view tab, click on, uh, you can see under this zoom menu right here, you can have one page view there. You can have multiple page views like this, or you could actually scale it exactly to the page width. And you can see that once you hover over it, you'll also get this little tool, tool tip here that tells you a little bit about what it will do. It says page width, zoom the document so that the width of the page matches the width of your window. So this could be really helpful if you're working on screens of different sizes, or maybe you're just on your laptop instead. So let's click that and see what happens. So then you get a really nice zoomed in view. Now the other thing that you can do is click on this 100% tab and that will say 100% view right there but you could also click on this zoom window and that gives you a more custom version so right here I could say it's right it's at 100% let's say I want 200% and I push OK it's gonna zoom back or it's gonna zoom up make it much closer but let's say we want to go to 75% and let's actually go down to like 50% you can uh, customize the view percent that you have right here I'm gonna click OK and then you can really see uh, it gets pretty, pretty tiny. The other thing here on the zoom tab is you could say I want it to be the page width, the text width, or the whole page. And I love the whole page view right here because that really get, allows you to pan back uh, perfectly to see a nice bird's eye view of the page layout. So if you like this video, I hope that you use this trick in your own word reporting. It's really helpful when you go back and forth, um, when you're really looking at how your page layout looks versus uh, wanting some extra detail that you want to zoom in and really see what you have on your page. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Tap the bell next to it. You'll get a notification every time I post a new data design tutorial in Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, or Word. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I loved making it for you, and I will see you next time.